Hi everyone, we will start a new topic, Facebook Advertising Objectives. This is one very important topic wherein an advertiser or a user really need to define the objectives, why they want to run a campaign within Facebook. So objective is directly proportional to the business goals. So if you are an advertiser, you really need to define what is the business goal and if you are a campaign manager or a planner, so you really need to define or understand the business goals and what business goal is perfect for running what types of ad within Facebook. The objectives are divided the objective into three major blocks. First one is awareness, second one is consideration and the third one is conversion. So if you talk about objectives is exactly what you want your user to do when they get exposed towards your ad or towards your message within Facebook platform. So first block explains the awareness. This is solely for good for those uh, you know, companies or advertiser who wants to spread the branding, who wants to uh, uh, you know, spread an awareness across uh, you know, Facebook uh, users like major companies like Levi's or you know Apple, Samsung, they try to spread awareness. You know, uh, like they've got a new plan for uh, launching of a new product, uh, so they try to reach out to maximum people. So if you select this awareness group as an objective in your campaign, then the Facebook ad they start spreading the information across Facebook. They start displaying uh, you know your ads to lot number of people. So this is good for those people who want to spread an awareness for their company or for their product. Consideration. This is one major block where maximum all the uh, you know objective of a campaign uh, gets uh, covered up. So first consideration is, is the block is, is like you want to your user to consider something. So let's take an example. You want to uh, promote your app and app. So you have or app company or you know you want to sell some, you're selling something and you want your user to install your app by spreading some information so consideration is some is an action over here so cons considering the installation you start promoting your uh, you know your ads accordingly so let's say an example the objective that get people to start thinking about your business and look for more information about it traffic increases the number of visits to your website or get more people to use your app so again what i said that you want to divert the facebook uh, user to your website then yes you can use this consideration so once they click onto your app the app prompts and redirects the user from facebook to your website app installation if you want to you know uh, promote your app then again yes you have to Follow this particular objective as consideration and an app installation is one objective uh, defined within campaign. You just need to select that and then whatever ad, Facebook will start you know, displaying uh, your ad to specific users who can likely install your app. And the targeting is so good about Facebook that if you're uh, spreading your know, information about Android or Apple, so accordingly, they try to send or spread message or to target the specific user who's actually using Apple or they're using the Android version of phones. And moving further, you want to, you know, if you have write you, you're a blogger and you write posts, so again, you can boost your post like post engagements. That's an objective. So you want to make sure that somebody reads your, you know, uh, the post that you you're writing your, your content writer and you want to promote your content then yes you have to select this post engagement option as an objective for your particular campaign promote your page so if you have a Facebook page where you uh, you know want to uh, promote that particular page to different user or in, you can say increasing the likes then you have to select promote page like as an objective get people to claim an offer on your page then offer claim would be the objective. So if you are selling something over uh, you know, on Facebook, then you have to select offer claims as an objective for your campaign. Raise uh, attendance for an event 
on your page. So let's example your uh, event organizing company or you know, there's a show that gonna get organized in Delhi or in Gurgaon or in Pune or in Bangalore. You want you a uh, lot number of crowd uh, to come to your event. Then yes, as an objective, you have to select event responses. So once you're defining, you, you're, you're building a campaign in Facebook, you have to select event responses as an objective. Let's move further. Video views. There's this, this again one segment which has uh, given a lot of boost to uh, to the digital marketing intensity. There are a lot of people who are making videos, short videos, long videos, and you want to promote your video, then the objective that what you have to take for your campaign is the video views objective. Lead generation. There are a lot of people who also try to collect or build leads. Leads in the sense means if you're uh, a car company and you want to uh, get a lead generation that okay let's have a test drive then this particular campaign is very uh, or campaign objective is really good uh, in which if you're defining you know you're building a campaign and you take this lead generation or if you're a service provider then in that case you have to select this lead generation as an objective message you want to make sure that your business is interacting with a lot of users then you can select this as an uh, objective for your campaign Conversion. This is again very important. If you're really promoting your ads and just focusing on having a conversion, then you have to select this uh, conversion as an objective in your campaign. This conversion block is, you know, objective block and the objective that encourages people to interested in your business to purchase or use your product or services. So directly, you know, it's directly proportional now. So once you select this option, the Facebook will start displaying as to only potential users whom they think that likely you know they can get convert uh, converted or likely can they can make a purchase for your uh, you know for your product or for your services. So these are the objectives that you have to define in the very first step. You can say for building up a campaign in Facebook. In my course material, uh, I have defined certain uh, case studies for which which particular block would be good i would request the users to read the complete details the different case types that will help you to better understand which particular objective would be good for your business and if you have any question just leave it on to the comment section i would love to answer that questions thank you